B Bad and Brandon. Oh, we're recording already. Oh, there's this new feature on there. We got a feature? There's a feature. What's Mark Clip? Add marker. Oh, you can add markers to it too. Markers? Oh, I guess that's in case you need to edit stuff. Ah, awesome. You can have a sick filter of something, perhaps. Oh, uh, yeah, like we're in space. I want that. Like when we had Scotty on and he was in the fucking... He was in the universe. He was in the space, bro. It was sick. How's the, f how's the start of the year, bro? Uh, we hadn't had any sleep last couple of nights. That's been good. Oh, <laughs> bub? Yeah, fuck. I had to cancel clients today. <laughs> it was I was going to say, you seem a bit rusty. It was fucked. I think I was up till midnight on hold to try and get the flights changed. Then they cut me off. What? That was good. And then finally went to bed. And then I don't think Kendra fell asleep till like after one. And then she kept waking up. Bloody hell. I remember seeing three. Oh, man. And four. Oh. And that's when I sent the text to the guys the crew. this morning. I said, guys, you're on your own. You've got your program, you know what to do. That's Send the me videos. <laughs> that is the good thing about the nature of our industry and the, the degree of they've been around so long, they know what to do with something. Oh, yeah. They were all cool about it. They yeah. know what to do. They've got programs. I think that's what... Because if, if you're a, maybe a good coach, you've sort of embedded that skill in your guys that and trust that if you can't be there... So you just got to execute on the program. Yep. Then they had to provide flexibility within and it. Sure, if, if it's a program you've run, oh shit, a program you've run for a few weeks now, they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, just fucking squat 700 sets and go do some leg press and go home. 700 sets? <laughs> yeah. That's the secret, bro. No more five sets, 700. You heard it here first, platform exclusive. New training protocols. Exactly. I'm all about <laughs> it. The 100 set protocol. Fuck that. And that's all you do. It's like Rich Bianca's eight-hour arm workout, bro. Yeah. It was like when, um... It was Stenzel. No, not Stenzel. It was Lily. You know how he hurt his, hurt his hip? Yeah, he did all those squats. To take the record, and then he ended up not having the... Now he's got no hips. Yeah. And he ended up not having the right adjudicator to go for the record, so... Oh, yeah. The record never ended up actually counting. Imagine that. All that effort. <laughs> Fucking hell. All that hip pain. <laughs> You feel bad, eh? Oh, you do feel bad. That's sucks. <laughs> you feel sore. You would. And he's still paying for it too. He's still bell. squatting. <laughs> still it. squatting. Still sumoing. Champion. Yeah, just get some bionic ones later. I'm really excited to see where medical technology ends us ends us up. So I feel like I could probably squat 500 with mechanical hips in the future. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Imagine the um, if the joint's got lots of little pistons in it or something. Yeah, so like, like I you're would not just relying on. I would like a new ankle. On muscle mass to move the weight. Like whatever yeah. piece of mechanical you're not relying on muscle mass because I have none is yeah. that what you're saying yeah. I didn't want to it's okay I get it I get it you and everyone else no, fine. you got tape on there bro what's going on oh uh, it's just like the on flow and this is like I think I was gonna lean into chat about today it's like when you do an injury and you rectify that initial injury people think like you're smooth sailing mm. But there's an on-flow effect. So what we're dealing with now is post-Achilles rupture. Now that I'm back training, obviously everything has atrophied and been detrained on my right leg. Mm. So we've developed a little bit of, you know, hamstring tendinopathy and a little bit of patella tendon, tendonitis tendinopathy. So yeah. we're just managing that now before it gets out of control. Yeah. The good thing is we, like, I'm onto it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but mean, because you spent... How long with an Achilles rupture and the rest of yeah. your body's still going to move you some way? Exactly. Which potentially is not the most efficient way, but. Oh, no, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, well, remember, I was in the moon boot for what, nearly three months. Mm. So that's a lot of muscles that's doing things they're not meant to. 100%. And then, like, even once you're out of that, you still can't walk properly. No. Which means you're jacking up your hips somewhere. There's a, there's a compensation at some other joint of stability. Mm. So that's going to create dysfunction and different moving patterns to overcompensate. Yep. Next minute, you're dealing, you're getting some niggles when you start back training. Oh, I've never had this before. And yet. yeah. yeah, yeah. So now we're rehabbing, but also it's not at the point where I can't, I have to stop training. Yeah, I wonder, I often wonder about that because like, like, how many good, let's use the word practitioners now because there's so many different fucking types out there. Bro, there is, isn't there? Um, oh. They're all doing the same thing, just rehabbing your body. Mm. Um, 
that actually recognise that versus just a cut and paste. I read a good post on Instagram just talking about how they rehab ACLs. And it was just, you know, they've got their timeline, you do these things at the timeline, you complete your timeline for an ACL, and then you move on. What I'm looking at, um, what'd you do? Achilles. Achilles, yeah. Achilles, no, You're so tired, um, bro. <laughs> yeah, you do your, your Achilles, and that's your protocol, because that's what you learned at your, your school. And then you just move that person back out into the, into I think the world. Which, you know, maybe that works for normal people who don't challenge or stress their bodies. Exactly. And I think you just hit the nail on the head. Is that It's the continual stress and challenge of the body that doesn't allow... Like, as an athlete, weekend warrior, whatever you wanted to be described as... Like I would be a weekend hacker. Weekend hacker? Well, I don't even have weekends. Maybe I'm a, a week hacker. Maybe you're a I like day week, hacker. I don't want the word week though in there. Maybe you're a day hacker. Day hacker yeah. Like a night walker? When you yeah, when you messaged me at two AM the other day, I was like he's clearly on night shift. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. I was like, bro. <laughs> um, Any time that did work. But you know, I agree. Like, I think nothing when it comes to rehab is textbook. Like, there's a, and I think the good practitioners and even good coaches will work within the timeline. Going, okay, this is a good starting point. Mm. These are these are some boxes we can tick, but. Mm we got to overlay it to the individual needs. So we know that Brando's going to be an idiot and try and get back to training as quick as he can because he's fucking bored and misses lifting heavy. Not we bad. know that. So Your training's not fun. Exactly. So what what parameters can we put around him or how can we, you know, safely move through? And I was good. Like, obviously, Pegler was there for the initial, the initial hit, so he was able to get me out of the moon boot a lot quicker. Um, and that just comes from experience, mm-hmm. not a textbook. Mm-hmm. Like th- th- I was just talking, seventeen years plus in the industry, you think he knows something? He knows some things, and he knows a thing about a thing. Yeah. So I think <laughs> people, because obviously, you know, let's let's talk about ex client who's newish. So they've already got their um, relationships built or their their network, or they just don't have that trust in you yet. So they go and see the physio they have found or been recommended, and then they go get. X injury addressed and then maybe one to two weeks or the next day you get a message phone call or chat where it's like oh my this was a bit that so I went and saw this physio and then you're like oh well man that's that's good but you know next time just let me know because we've got our own network of people and I'm not saying they're better but normally they're really good perhaps use them and then (laughs) fucking four weeks later oh my fuck it's getting worse yeah Um, but you know maybe Maybe they missed something. Perhaps you'd like to go see my guy, get another opinion. And then sometimes they'll say yes, and they go over there and they go, fuck, wow, that was different. That's so much better. It's like, <laughs> it's like, like why didn't you just fucking ask me the first time? It's like, <laughs> fucking wanna, Muppets. Yeah, it literally, <laughs> it literally bang your head against the wall. And if you're not watching, Johnny just did that with the microphone, which you probably heard it actually. Um, it seems so sensitive. Yeah, they are. But um, it's like, I think that comes back to as well, you talk about, um, is that a song? I don't make one up. Oh, right. It's um, What's the song? You are feeling <laughs> it. I feel like you need a coffee oh, and that. I'm going to need a coffee pre edge so I can get my fucking game on. You're already on your game. Yeah. You're, you're great. Don't doubt yourself. Mm. But I think it comes back to, like, as you said, creating buy-in and mm. that trust between the client and, you yeah. know, and the initial... Yeah initial stages like yeah. I don't expect sometimes that guy's the guy they're fucking not the guy Paul's the guy Paul is and guy. anyone else at start training is the guy and the girl <laughs> yeah like I think you just gotta go if people wanna go make their own decision go to see who they know I'm like yeah cool no worries I'm the try it <laughs> <laughs> but I think trust comes from they have to prove their belief wrong. Yeah, true. Like, so I'm like, yeah, cool. You go, you go see them, and <laughs> okay, if they're not yeah, good, they need to break two more times. <laughs> yeah, oh, what's the, that? Physio's only been out of school for 12 months. Oh, yeah, he wants you to do. Oh, okay, cool, cool. No, my guy's only had 17 years of experience. Don't worry about it. My favorite test question is, I'll say to them, when I usually know their fucking shit, I'll be like, when you go see them next time, because it's been going for a while and you've been doing all the things, so something's not right. Can you please ask them? what caused this problem mm, they can't give you that yeah <laughs> what is wrong 
Okay, all right. Well, all you're doing is fixing the fucking symptom. You're not fixing the cause. Yeah. See, that's my thing as well. It's <laughs> like, if you know the cause, you're not just reacting to symptoms, but you're yeah. being proactive to what could potentially happen because... <laughs> like anything even with training but rehab it needs to be scalable mm. then you need to be able to scale up as mm. you move through the steps and then you need to be able to regress if you yeah. push it too far too I think quickly. you need to understand you're going to regress yes but it's not linear 100 that is the perfect uh, yep 100 percent. because it's going to go up it's going to go down and then backwards like this, this mm. fucking leg like i started yeah. deadlifting quite well mm. you know for sets of 10 and then i was like you know what no mm. my body said you're a dickhead for rupturing it in the first place. Here's some more pain. Have some more pain. Have mm. a little bit more pain. There you go. Have a little pain. Which go. which we can all deal with. It's little salt bay pain on top. Yeah, yeah. Sprinkle yeah. that shit. Is you on the pain from lifting or the pain from not lifting? Mm. Oh, I love that. Thing. I love that thing when people always say it's like. I think it was Mark Belly. Like I'm gonna be in pain whether I do anything or not. Yeah. So I might as well be a fucking savage. Yeah. Fuck yeah. your elbow. Yeah, yeah. Well, Pete, Pete, oh pity. Uh, boy Pete Pete Basketball uh, yeah Triad, Triad, Pete. Triad Pete yeah Triad Pete he sums it up well because he's a little bit older so he gets to spend he has a, a circle that is a bit older than us um, like mean? a 90 or 206 I don't know about um, but he's at least 300 yeah but he talks about his peers and they, they're always like my back my knee my hip my elbow all these just mm-hmm. common life problems they have and his soreness is just from the fucking gym yeah, I've got muscle doms. Yeah, and he's like, it, it still fucking hurts, but I think this one's better. 100%. And you know what? It's probably better up here. Yeah. Right. Um, for those who can't see, I'm pointing to my head. It's better up there because you're at that age. Yeah. I think... At that age, I forgot that statement. <laughs> Someone said that to me the other week. Yeah, but you're young. <laughs> you can get fucked, the guy who said that at the optometrist. What my dickhead. fucking age. Um, well, at Peach prehistoric age <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> I can't imagine you'd feel that progression much mm. like I don't think there's many more boxes to tick when you've been a triad leader mm. you've had a family you've started multiple businesses mm. but going to the gym and having that outlet is mm. still going to allow you to progress he takes a world record baby fucking he's going to own every single one he does until like you to, get that, to like that to age mate I'm coming bro I'm bringing all of my clients that are a bit younger than me through I'm going to fucking take them all and then I'm coming next and you better still be alive because I need you to see me out deadlift your deadlift records in the warm up room <laughs> I love this I actually just got so jacked let's do it yeah 100% so I've got I don't know 110 years before I start taking his records but we'll get there eventually <laughs> he's so <laughs> love you Pete I know you're listening <laughs> yeah he'll be on here next week <laughs> yes he will be 10 red wines deep everyone's catching Ubers I'm getting dropped, bro. Yeah. I'm getting dropped off and picked up. Yeah. There's good call. Yeah, fucking Ian's up. Ian's bringing the wine. <laughs> oh, That's gonna, gonna be. be he's had the Cully's collection down. He's only got fifteen hundred bottles now. He said. Legit? <laughs> it's something. Yeah, bro, it's something stupid like that. Holy <laughs> fuck! Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. That's insane. <laughs> and uh, Pete Sheldon's just been talking shit to those two boys for the last month and a half straight in preparation for this. <laughs> it's gonna be such a giggle. I can't wait. I I just feel like I'm gonna set the podcast up, and I'm just gonna take a sit on the floor. Yeah, well, you well, you and me just sit next to each other yeah, we'll, there and watch it unfold. Yeah, we'll just sit here just having wine, maybe maybe <laughs> some snacks, put some um. It'll be your first real wine. That's what I'm excited about. Right. You'll be your first, no, first wine. Yeah, Ma- yeah. You know what? Maybe we'll get some wine and put some chippies out. And some chippies! Chippies and wine. Fuck, I'd do a good chippy. How's your chippies going? You chippy machine? Yeah, I'm chippy machining. Um, what did I do this week in it? I'm still doing the, 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 the roasted potatoes and mm. stuff. Um, been really just... What I'm actually really into it. I'm mm. kind of... I don't want to say I've nailed, but I've nailed it. Mm, yeah. Um, homemade coleslaw. Ooh, man. Yeah. Making your own mayo? No, I'm not making my own mayo. Yeah. That's it. Like, okay, that's the next step. You run a full egg mayo? No, because oh my god. Are you gonna have a full egg? No, I'm having a vegan mayo. Tastes exactly the same. I yeah. will say that. Similar. <laughs> feel feel good. So do I. <laughs> it does. Fucking vegan mayo. Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, it's 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 tasty. And I had uh, my homemade coleslaw with a beautiful rib fillet steak on the barbie yesterday. Rib fillet's good. 
fuck, it was good too. You got Junior Burger eating steaks now. Do ya? Yeah. That's mad. She fucking loves steak. Have you been, actually, quick topic change, but not really on topic. Have you been to the Norman over in the Wool and Gabba? Oh, not since I was young. Uh, uh, piss head. <laughs> yeah, right. I've <laughs> been there a long time. Bro. So I went with G and the boys steak last. Steak is good, I hear. Steak was amazing. So I went to Brecky Creek on the Thursday night with the boys, and it was a good steak. For the boys. And then on Friday, we Norman met Pegler steaks. at Norman, at the Norman. Bro, 400 gram yeah, dry Norman aged ribeye. We met Pegler and Norman. Not Norman and Pegler. Not Norman and Pegler. Got it. Yep. Mm. Um, could be confused. Mm. Anyways, steak was better. Yeah, isn't it back? Is that the place in the back of the show that says uh, best vegan restaurant in Brisbane? Worst right? vegan. Worst, Worst vegetarian, vegetarian yeah. restaurant. Yeah. Fucking Unreal. Right. They got the kilo steak challenge yeah. where you actually get your name up on the board. Yeah. You can do a kilo, couldn't you? I can do a kilo. Yeah. I'm sure. Do you have to do the rest of it, though? I don't know. I haven't worked out legalities. I might take a big... That'd be my fall down. I mean, I could if I wanted, but I'm too... I'm an adult. I don't want to be sick. But you got to switch off that adult mode. And yeah. Sick mode. You just got to have... I reckon this, the trick is... And I've always lived by this, especially when Vulcan... Mm. Your body takes 20 minutes to recognise you're full. Mm, you have a 20-minute keep window. And then going, Pepsi bro. or Coke... Just to keep burping, so you think you're not as yeah, full. Yeah, plus calories. Hundred percent. Coke yeah. zero. No, 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 not Coke zero. So just Coke normal. Just, just fucking also, if you're drinking Coke, no sugar, stop. It tastes like shit. Pepsi yeah. Max is way better. Yeah, I had a few people say that recently. That Bro, if Coke they're going to go for a fizzy drink and they're looking for an because there's no calories in that, right? Yeah, well, less calories. I think. I don't think there's. I think there's minimal. Yeah, they fucking smash a Pepsi Max. Pepsi, I can't think. Of, oh, you even like the Pepsi smell Max? makes me fucking. You don't like Pepsi Max? Man, I don't like soft drink. Oh, that's right, yeah. Occasionally, very occasionally, maybe a, a Pesito, just for... OG? For, for old time's sake. Yeah, if, you, if you're not if you're listening to this podcast and you're over the age of 25 and you haven't had Pesito... Pesito or perhaps a creaming soda, a oh, creaming soda. Those are the days. That'd be nice. When if you're lucky and you went to the shops, mum would get you a can yep. or a couple of cans for the fridge. You got to... Uh, Budget out for yourself throughout the and week. And you felt like such a baller. Oh, fuck. I'll go grab my can. Yeah. Get a fucking Pasito, baby. Pasito On done. ice is how I'd like to have it. Yeah, right. Get a nice cold You're just running that glass. for old time's sake. Oh, but, but man, I just drink water, bro. Water and juice. Yeah, I do love a good white juice. That man, Jaylee orders it. Um, she provides a lot of um, change week to week. Uh, she, just del- she just picks one. You mean orders it off like off the Woolies online? Yeah, yeah, yeah right, online. right, right, right. And then in my magical fridge, so in my world, um, I s- every- I always have juice. I don't know how it gets there. It's just in the fridge. The juice fairy gets yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> but I think in the real world, what happens is Jaylee orders it, <laughs> and then the 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 Woolies man delivers it, <laughs> and then it ends up in the magical fridge. I love that. It's excellent. But yeah, we get a new one every week. I couldn't even. Just, I think there's like a there's a blend this week. An orange and a mango. And oh, orange mango is up there. Eh? There's a few things in there, like a, you know, like a five fruit kind of deal. Yeah, mad. That might have five fruit. Yeah. Because in the morning, man, I'd fucking love my go-to. Because you, oh, you don't work as many mornings as me, do you? Fuck no, I hate juice. Yeah, so I hate hate, I hate juice. mornings. I, I hate love mornings. juice. Well, I do a lot of mornings, so I don't get a lot of breakfast. So I love just having bacon and eggs, a piece of jam toast, and a glass of juice for a morning. It's fucking just something about that's excellent. That actually sounds amazing. That's How good's happens. jam? What jam are you running? Oh, it is a blood orange. Blood orange? Yeah. What's your favourite jam, though? I'm a, I don't mind a strawberry, but it's got to be a fucking good one. Yeah, I reckon strawberry jam is goat. Yeah, strawberry is fucking good. But we... I don't like raspberry. Oh, don't Thank like. you. Oh, raspberry jam That's is fucked. Fuck, there used to be, and it was We really cover the important things on this podcast. Strawberry... Blueberry and vanilla bean. Jam. Oof. Big oof. And it was, you know, in the jam section, there's that French one? Yeah, yeah. It was made I'm by them. I haven't seen it for a fucking long time, but that was a fucking good jam. Yeah, right. That was fucking delicious. I'm running a strawberry jam by Beer Barm. Beer Barm. Yeah, like they're, I reckon they're goat. Local jammer? Yeah, I reckon they're fucking goat. Mm. Like, I love... Don't come at me with your raspberry jam bullshit. Fuck uh, it off. Raspberry's not a jam, bro. Raspberry is not a jam in any sense of the word. Yeah. No, I don't want it. 
Oh, raspberries don't my shake. Yeah, fair. That's it. No, strawberry jam is so good. Oh, strawberry jam. So, like sometimes if I'm wanting just extra cows, yeah. four pieces of thick toast, oh, yeah, thick toast, butter, two with strawberry jam, two with yeah. Vegemite. It's a, it was a good trick. I used to like, um, if I'm struggling for food, if I haven't enough through the day or need more just because I'm trying to do more, a um, couple more of bits more. of toast, yeah, more is more, a couple of bits of toast and jam post dinner. Oh, best treat. You know what season it is? Oh, that's all cross buns. Fucking oath it is. Yeah. You right. know what I'm going to try? Chicken machine. Oh, I'm, uh, yeah, oh, I always want a tip, chicken machine since you told me. Take some food. Butter. Yes. And we'll put some jam on it this year. Oh, I do honey. You do honey? Yeah. Nah. Good honey, crack. Good honey. Not that dirty capillano. Yeah. Good honey. You need good stuff. Yeah. Cool. I reckon I'm going to buy some hot cross buns today. Yeah, please. Please, that's if you can. I'm going to go to a bakery. Oh, I'll tell you, um, brew bakers for hot cross buns. Or over in Albion? Brew bakers. Actually, you know where I do want to go for a hot cross bun? Where? Flour and chocolate. Oh, they do a hot cross bun. They wouldn't, they would work. Oh, I went there the other day. Mm. Got two pies. <whistles> Fuck this. The beef brisket pie there is something Ooh, else, eh? I do like fucking pie, bro. Nah, like it's ultimate, eh? I love pie. I still haven't tried Mika. Mika? Mika? Why not? Because it's so busy all the fucking time. Yeah, but you don't stay in there. You just line up, eat food, and get the fuck out. I like to sit down and enjoy. Yeah, but you get. Or, or Actually, go well, sit in you said park. That's a better idea. A also, public service announcement, announcement flour and chocolate also have gelato there now. Ooh, gelato. And I had a waffle cone with cookies and cream, Ooh. and it was easily the best thing I've ever had in my mouth. <laughs> Do lot. And you've got a lot of things there. Oh, 100%. <laughs> um, some not always good. Yeah, some dirty. Um, Mika, bro, get there. Okay, I will. Dude, Sunday morning, mid-morning, you and the lady, go out for some brekkie, go in there, line up, not too long, it's quick. Get yourself a little coffee, make sure you get a sweet treat, and then you move yourself down to Newstead Park. You know what the problem is? If I go to those places, I can never... No, I can't. I, I mean, like, I can't. I'm not supposed <laughs> to, but I fucking will. Um, like... I'll always get something savoury, but then even if I only feel like something savoury, I still have to get something sweet. You so I walked out with two pies and a fucking Danish the other day. Oh, was I mad? No, no I wasn't. I was so happy. Sweet treat? It's the best. It's the greatest. Bro, I've got I'm excited. new questions. I'm very excited. New actually. year, new questions. New year, new me, new questions. Well, right, right, here we go. What'd you have for dinner last night? Burrito. Burrito! I have to think. What do you keep in the boot of your car? Um... It is a spare fuel can in case you run out of fuel because that did happen once a long, 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 long time like ago. That's a dad move. That is a dad move. Um, and then like a set of tool stuff. Tool. And my training bag. Tool. Nice. When was the last time you changed your bed sheets? Last Thursday. Well played. So yesterday. You run a <laughs> you run a Thursday. Is that the model? Or you oh, it's just when we had spare time. Yep. Middle name. James. Favorite year and why? Last year was the most challenging but most rewarding. First cassette CD record for those that have been oh, shit. ever owned. Usher's Confessions CD, I think. Usher Confessions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, last dream you had? Oh, fuck, I don't even know. Um... It was one of those ones where I wasn't sure if it was a dream or if it was real. I had a dream. But we were fighting ninjas. Fuck, you might have been fighting ninjas. And I, like, that's all I remember was fighting ninjas. Fuck yeah. Were you a ninja? No, no, I was fighting them, but I was, like, better than a ninja. I don't know if what, uh, maybe a samurai ninja? Samurai ninja. It's a fucking next level ninja. Yeah. Um, what will you be doing and where will you be when you retire? New Barbell. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Your morning routine. Uh, so this is actually a good question because it has changed since becoming a dog dad. Dog dad, yes. Uh, wake up, have 500, 600 mils of water, um, let the dog out to pee. Let the dog out. I did. Um, come in, do my business on the toilet, cold shower, I, I like brush my teeth, cold shower, 
beard oil, beard balm, blow dry. Put clothes on and make my shake, make my coffee and out the door. Done. What do you think of AI? Like artificial intelligence? Correct. I think I would love to see Vision from the Avengers come true. Yes. Um, I would love to see... I, th- I think it's also a very scary, like, iRobot situation happening. Which was a great Will Smith movie, just shout out. Mm-hmm. So I think it could be very interesting, but I'm I'm all for it. Like, for the AI? Yeah, I'm for the AI. Yeah, I, mean. I just don't want to see people become more lazy. No. Nah. No, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's the questions. Ten questions. That was a good one. That was good. That was very quick. You got one real rapid fire one. Rapid fire, baby. Easy done. Peace. Uh, it just takes me, says, five minutes.